It's amazing. It's amazing. I was involved with this discovery because I had time on the telescope. So I calculated exactly where I needed to point the telescope. And hilariously, I forgot to check and see if Saturn was in the way. Um, and that actually turned out to be a really useful set of images for uh, some of my collaborators who were working on discovering new moons of Saturn. So I sort of accidentally helped out with, <laughs> with this discovery of 128 new moons of Saturn in science. Sometimes, sometimes mistakes can also be very, very useful. And this is all done with the Canada France Hawaii telescope. I was just blown away when I heard how many they actually uh, measured orbits for 128 new moons, right? So that brings Saturn's total of known moons to 274. Like, that's incredible. That's incredible. And most are actually orbiting backwards, which is super weird. These moons are all really far away from Saturn. They're kind of in this big messy cloud of of moons um there's clear evidence that moons have smashed into each other in the past right so these these moons are mostly captured small asteroids the peak of the lunar eclipse is uh about 1 a.m on friday morning thursday night and friday morning so this means that the the full moon is going to pass through the shadow of the earth lunar eclipses are spectacularly weird looking <laughs> like the moon looks wrong it's kind of like every single sunrise and sunset in the world getting projected onto the moon at once it's a really really neat thing to observe and it's really easy to observe you just go outside and look at the moon right <laughs> so it doesn't require any special equipment you just have to know when to look so it starts around nine is when when the edge of the shadow first touches the moon so it won't be really obvious for probably an hour or so so 10 p.m is probably about the time that you'll notice the moon starts to look wrong the shadow of the earth will move off of the moon again uh until about 4 a.m even if it's completely cloudy you might still notice this this lunar eclipse because the moon is so bright you know we're still at solar maximum so auroras are very likely right it's just it's a good time to get out and appreciate the sky <laughs>